Oh, kia ora, Willie. Kia ora. Where did you spend your election night? Mahuri Huri Marae with uh, our team, uh, Pini Hinari and all our uh, volunteers and supporters. It was a good night. Yeah. How well, was it was a good night for our Fanaungatanga. It wasn't such a good night with the election, was it? What, what, what kind of message do you think was sent to Labour? Uh, that maybe the country's just had enough of us. I think that was uh, clear. We're just under 27% of the, probably 27% of the vote, which is just not good enough. I thought we were heading for 30%. If we had got 30, um, you know, we might have been able to be, uh, you know, players. That's if the Greens had held their vote, but they, they dropped too. They went down to about 10%. But uh, disappointing, but that's how it goes, I suppose. It's... Uh, you know, sometimes the country just had enough. You know, we th you think you're doing enough. Uh, it's a, a tricky one with me sometimes because I'm I'm involved in the Māori campaign. You know, and so you're balancing the economic stuff with the cultural stuff. You know, economic stuff in terms of you know the needs in terms of Māori are the same as Pākehā, housing, education, health, all that sort of thing. Uh, but at the same time, our people want money funding for Māori providers. They want matatini. They want matariki. So. It's a sort of twin strategy that we run. It's a challenging one, isn't it? Because you have to kind of weigh up the mm. priorities and where you're going to put your energy, where mm. you're going to put your limited resources, who that's you're right. going to fight for. That's right, that's right. But, uh, I, you know, I know some people like uh, will probably say, oh, it's been a disaster for our, our Māori crew, but we still got the biggest Māori caucus in Parliament, uh, a caucus of nine. And uh, and it was good to see that uh, well, at the moment we've won three Māori seat, so it's pretty, I mean, I think it's pretty good. Māori pa, uh, Party Māori has four, uh, and congratulations to them. I think they ran a great campaign in terms of that youth vote in particular. You know, well well done. A surprise that two candidates and representatives from two very strong Māori whānau are no longer in there. T tai Tonga has fallen before with uh, Rahui Katane uh, winning it. You know, Party Māori has been there before. Um, uh, Tainui uh, fell before when the Nanaia's first term was as a list MP. Tuku Morgan was the first electorate. Uh, he said that. Yeah, 1996. So he 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 actually beat Nanaia in 96. Oh, yeah. But that had been, uh, you know, obviously that had been quite a way to this seat. And so, you know, so she lo she lost that, that seat. Well, Labor lost that seat. Labor lost every seat in '96, as you remember. I mean, yeah. politics is a funny game, oh. but she's been immovable since then. You know, even didn't I you, didn't you go up against her? I had a crack at, against yeah. her in two oh two. And who uh, were you standing for? Uh, we were standing for Manamotahake Alliance then, and uh, her and I had a real ding dong battle uh, <laughs> in, in two oh two. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was sort of no favours there, but uh, um, it's funny how life goes. And yeah. Of course, we ended up coming together in Labor and. And I admire a lot of the work that she's done for our people. And then, of course, John Tomahe jumps from Labour oh. into Te Party Māori. <laughs> there's lots of swings, well, isn't there? Well, well that's Māori politics, though. You know, whether it's me, myself or John or Shane Jones. You know, Shane was Mr Labour Party Minister, right? Then he's Mr New Zealand First uh, Minister. Winston was National Party and New Zealand First. Māori politics is volatile. And uh, um, and you can see, and politicians move across the, move across the spectrum. You Do know. you think he might move again? No, I think I might be moving. Yeah, not to another Maybe party. Moving on out. <laughs> that, well, that would be a possibility. That's obviously something I've, I'm going to have to consider because uh, you know we've got some real talents in the, in the party. So you know I've been pretty proud of what I've done over the last six years, and uh, you know it's. Uh, you know, I have to consider, oh, I'll be talking with colleagues about that because, you know, there's younger people around. And uh, But I'll see if, uh, if, if there's anything left to contribute. You don't want to walk away on on, on people, but uh, um, I, I also don't want to restrict young talent that wants to, get, wants to get in there. I'm not exactly jumping at the opportunity of being part of the opposition, but I'm also part of a team, and I want to see what the team needs before I make uh, any final decisions come in and out of Parliament, bit of a rocky start with Labour, come right up there to um, hold some very significant ministerial portfolios. When you when you look back at things, what are you thinking? Well, it's just, you know, um, it's just been an honour, you know. You wouldn't have put a lot of money on me uh, holding any portfolios after the start I made in uh, Labour. I mean, you know, first day uh, when I announced my... Um, 
uh, eligibility and that I would be looking at standing for Labour, there was a 400 strong petition out against me saying, you want to put a lot of money on me and that was uh, uh, way before the election, that was a good seven, six, seven months before the election uh, and a lot of controversy around around me when I, when I entered uh, Labour. So um, all I can say is it's been a privilege and an honour, you know, and uh, uh, it's funny how things work out, I suppose. You know, and I'm also thinking you're a freezing worker, a <laughs> unionist, worked for the clerical workers' union, you were a bouncer. That's a different background from the whole bunch of people <laughs> that go into politics, isn't it? I think there's, in, in Labour, I think there's only two of us without um, uh, degrees. I think it's only just myself and Damien O'Connor. So, you know, uh, people like... Uh, Morgan Godfrey talk about me as being one of the last working class uh, MPs or ministers. So, yeah, I'm probably the least qualified uh, minister uh, in have been in the last six years. But, um, you know, I, I come from, as you know, from a community background. And uh, I think that's been an asset for me. But it's been a great honour, you know, a great, a great privilege. You know, you just got to get on with life, make some decisions in terms of where you're going. Um, but, uh, you know, it's been a great, it's been a great six years.